if you could describe to my audience who Sandy Notley was. Oh, well, I grew up in a small town in northern Alberta. Uh, I heard you and my producer talking about cold in Minnesota, and I was sort of smirking in the background. I thought, you guys don't know what cold is. Uh, (laughs) When I went to college there, about 60 miles away, we had 30 days in a row one winter where it didn't get above minus 40. So anyhow, I grew up in this small town and in, a, in the province of Alberta. So that's the Canadian equivalent of a state. And uh, we had a provincial government, the equivalent of a state government. And it was all conservatives, progressive conservative party. Every seat in, in the house was progressive conservative, except one new Democratic Party member, socialist, uh, Grant Notley, who was the leader of the NDP. And he wasn't elected so much because he was a socialist, I don't think, because most of the people in my small town were conservative, but because he was a really good man. Anyways, he was the only opposition in the entire province for like decade, a decade or more. Um, his wife, Sandy Notley, was a New Englander and uh, somewhat of an anomaly in our small town. And she she was quite outspoken, a uh, New England intellectual. Um, and she was our librarian in our junior high school. And all the delinquents, and me as well, and maybe I was in that category, hung out in the library, weirdly enough, um, because she treated us like adults. And I started to work for the NDP when I was 14. Um, I ran for vice president of the party when I was 14. That was my first sort of public exposure. But she was a good guide for me. She introduced me to a lot of books. I was an omnivorous reader, but mostly I read science fiction. I didn't know what the hell to read. I used to spend all, you know, I'd hide my, the books I was reading behind a textbook in class and read away during school, but I was reading mostly science fiction. And she started to hand me books that she thought would be good for me. Um, She introduced me to Ayn Rand. Um, Interestingly enough, despite the fact that she was a socialist, uh, not Ayn Rand, obviously, but Sandy Notley, she said she thought I would be smart enough to see through Rand. Um, uh, Huxley, Orwell, Solzhenitsyn, uh, a lot of serious material. And I developed a real friendship with her and her husband. And I worked with the NDP for four years. So she was a pronounced influence on me. And uh, that's Sandy Notley. Oh, and her daughter, Rachel Notley, who was a friend of mine, a girlfriend of one of my close friends at one point became premier of Alberta. Um, Many years later, she was defeated in the last election, which was only about three years ago, but um, she followed in her father's footsteps and, and became premier of the province. So that's that story. 